Hey you guys, it's JQ here and today you are rocking with me. I'm showing you guys how I work my desk space and how I kind of keep the feng shui to keep the creativity going. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is my desk space. Uh, I actually don't have a desk. I have a table. This table I got from Ikea. Um, I prefer a table because as a creative, I like to have as much space as possible when I need to create. So sometimes I may be painting or I might be hand drawing or I might be sewing something or I'm making something. And so I like that I can use move my uh, my computer and all my tech out of the way and have this desk space. Sometimes even others come over um, and then I may be working with, you know, and another laptop is here because I'm working with someone so it kind of has that unified space uh, a lot of you creatives out there I think it's like a trend actually of a lot of creatives using tables as desks instead uh, because of uh, the many things you can do with it so I really like this one let me be honest with you I got this table uh, one I wanted a table but the main thing that I got this table for, okay, the second main thing that I got this table for was because it looked like the Apple Store table. I really liked that table. I was looking hard for that table. I found some lookalikes, but you had to get them from China and it was just this whole thing. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Ikea. And when I went to Ikea, I saw this one. This is as close as I could get to an Apple Store table. So it kind of gives me that vibe. And there you go, I got this one. So yes, for the multi-creative space, but also because it just felt like I was at the Apple store. So, you know, feng shui, man, feng shui. You gotta, you gotta feel the vibes. You gotta, you gotta feel the vibes. And I feel the vibes with this table. I, I would feel better vibes with the Apple store table, but I feel the vibes with this table. Next thing I wanna get into is the greenery uh, uh, behind my table, against the wall. I got that, the, the greenery on the wall specifically, I got from Ikea. Uh, I really, really liked it. Don't know what it's called specifically. Uh, I'll probably leave it as an overlay on the video. Uh, but I went to Ikea, I saw it, I loved it. I bought a lot of them, and I thought it would look really, really good against my white table, which in fact, it looked amazing. Uh, the one thing that I did not like though, was the green against the white of the wall. So, behind the green, Green is actually uh, some paint that I saw from Restoration Hardware that I went ahead and painted right behind it to kind of give it a frame and it really did a good job of doing that because against the white it just felt a little bit too I don't know not done a little bit tacky so I really like that the green right there in the center underneath it I have uh, it's kind of like a grass I found it at Home Goods I needed something I like the green against the wall but I really really wanted a green on my table that kind of just, I don't know, just gave it a completeness. I, I, I can't really explain why it didn't feel complete. It just didn't feel the feng shui. I go on feng shui, I go on vibes, and it just didn't, the vibe didn't feel done yet. So uh, I went to Home Goods and I saw this and I just thought it worked amazingly. The wood is not quite the same wood of the table, but it was really, really close. And with the metal base, it really, really worked. Uh, again, against my laptop, my space gray MacBook Pro, it looks phenomenal. And it definitely gives me that kind of, hey, I'm working, I'm on tech, but I'm still a human being against this earthy kind of greenery vibe. The next thing I talk about are the lights. So the lights that you guys see against it. So I love landscaping. Have you ever guys ever go to those fancy houses and they have all the lights against the grass and everything? I was like, I wanted that on my desk. So what you guys see are hue lights, uh, Philips hue lights. They can change various colors uh, and they also uh, they also take up less energy than a traditional light bulb and they last up to like 16 years. So it's like once you buy them, you buy them and you have them for a long time. You can change the color on your phone or you can change it using Siri or you can change it using uh, the Amazon Echo or you could change it using Google Home. There's so many different ways to access these lights versus just your traditional come home and push a button. Uh, so I love those. What I have are two um, hue lamps and then one hue strip that goes behind my desk that really kind of brings this light uh, coming up from behind my desk onto the greenery along with these two spotlights. So it really, really gives it this kind of outdoor landscape uh, vibe on my desk. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And it still kind of in some ways keeps it simple. So, you know, you can't go wrong there. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is my Google Home Mini. I'm actually gonna be changing that out for the HomePod because I'm Apple everything. Come on, Apple everything, what, what? Come on now. Um, but I really do like it. So for those of you that are thinking about getting the Google Home and may not want the, you know, the $350 HomePod speaker and you're okay with Google and you have Android devices or whatever this, it is a really good device. It's pretty phenomenal. And, and the Google Assistant, 
This is a little better than Siri. I just kind of like that the HomePod has Apple Music on it because I'm Apple Music. So the one thing that all these other ones don't have is Apple Music. So it's like I'm trying to access other stuff when I subscribe to Apple Music. So I'm going to go ahead and get the HomePod. But the Google, uh, the Google Home is really, 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 really nice. So the next thing I'll talk about is my skull with the crown. This is probably the one thing that I have on my desk that kind of feels like a statue. So if the greenery is to look like outside landscape, then of course you want to have some type of statue or figure thing and for me that's my skull with the crown some of my friends are saying that it looks definitely like a commentary on being a black man in America uh, I, I'll take that. I, sometimes my art kind of does that, but really I just kind of wanted it. I found this crown when I went to go see Isle of Dogs, which by the way, if you have not seen Isle of Dogs, go see it. But I saw this store right when I was leaving in a feeling creative and I saw this crown, this ceramic crown, beautiful crown. And I was like, I gotta get it. And immediately I thought about, oh, it would look really nice on my desk with a skull. So that's when I went to Home Goods. Luckily, I mean, whoever goes to Home Goods and finds exactly what you're looking for, I did, and I found the skull. And so I went and I uh, spray painted it black, and then I put the crown on it. It's on my desk. Love it. Love it. So next up, I'll talk about uh, my iPad and the, uh, the stand right underneath it. So I have a 12 inch uh, iPad Pro, love it. Uh, I do a lot of animation, uh, a lot of illustration, children's book stuff, and I use my iPad as a second screen to my laptop. So when I'm on Photoshop, I'm using the screen and I can draw directly onto it. And there you go, there's a children's book or animated film or whatever it is. But I really like that I have this device that I can draw when I'm here, but then when I leave, it's an iPad or on a I'm on my uh, couch it's a you know I can watch a movie so I love the multi-use of it underneath my iPad is the 12 uh, 12 south stand uh, I really like it that my iPad leans right against it at the right angle for me to draw so uh, there's a lot of different stands that change angles but what I really like is that 12 south really found the right angle uh, for illustration and drawing and using it as a drawing de uh, device really really like it and I love how it kind of continues the slope with my laptop now, speaking of my laptop, again, I have a 12 inch MacBook Pro, uh, space gray with all the fixings, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but underneath that, I have a rain design stand that almost looks just like the 12 South one. So I love how they are, you know, kind of continue. So what I like about these stands, uh, the rain one, and even the 12 South one, is that it's made out of one block of aluminum. There's a lot of stands that are made out of various things and they tend to wobble or something breaks. It's just, I just wanted to just work like it just give me the right angle I trust you give me the right angle I look at that angle we're good so the next thing I talk about is this Belkin uh, this Belkin case for my Apple pencil man I love this thing I really wish Apple had a done this um, it holds my Apple pencil it holds all the accessories for the Apple pencil uh, and, and, it, and it keeps them protected in a nice little case but what's also cool is I can take the Apple pencil out and then it's kind of like a really nice little kickstand for my Apple pencil when I need to work on my iPad so I can just kind of set the pen there the pencil there and then kind of you know uh, when I'm not working when I'm ready to work again I can pick it right up I just really like the multi use of this thing and um, so when I'm not using it I put it behind uh, my iPad but when I am using it, it's right there next to it uh, uh, it's got that black and white feel to it. Looks really nice, really sleek. I, I like this thing. So next up, I want to talk about my Mophie wireless charger for my iPhone 10. What I really like about it is I can come home, I can set it down, and it charges. I can pick it up, and you know what I mean, and then go be right on the go without a cord. Really, really enjoy that. And I like that it's black. It goes really good against my IKEA desk pad that um, that is really, really sleek as well. So next up, I want to talk about the chair. This chair, Latoya and I got from Ikea. We really, really liked it. It's specifically for her to her desk, but I'm going to get one for my desk. So I stole it for this video because I'm going to get one too. Um, I like that it's made out of just kind of one solid block. I like that it has this nice dark gray tone. And then what is amazing is the arch in the back. Some of these chairs, the arch is too high or the arch is too low. And with this one to be made out of one solid block, it goes right at the arch of my back. I mean, just perfectly right there. And it just uh, feels really, really good on top of looking really, really good. And that means JQ should buy one. So I am. So I stole Toya's because I'm getting one. 
So lastly, what I want to talk about is this dongle that I got from Best Buy called the Hyperdrive. So first thing first, it's space gray. My laptop is space gray, so it looks really, really good next to it. Um, but it takes up two USB-C ports on my laptop, which conveniently I only have two. But what it does in return is it gives me a HDMI port. It gives me two USB-C ports. It gives me a SD card slot holders. And then it gives me two old school USB uh, ports, which is really, really convenient when I need to use one of them. I don't use them often, so I like that it's in a dongle that I can put away later. But it, when I do need it, it's right there. It comes in this really nice leather pouch. And then it's right there when I need it. And then it's gone when I don't need it. All right, you guys, so that concludes my desk tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have a question or comment, please leave that down in the comments below. I'm gonna try to put uh, all the links to everything you've seen in the description so that you guys can go visit those sites to either purchase or check them out, learn more, or even see something else that you may like so that you can, you know, soup up and add the feng shui to your desk space too. All right, peace.